What's going on, you media fanatics? Mark here from Back to the Media. We are hitting the road today, even though it is snowing, and I don't know if it was sleeting earlier, but it's all melting now. So we're going to hit the road, see if we can find some records, anything else cool out there. I don't know what will be open today, but uh, if you guys want to ride along with me, let's go. We are heading into Maryland today to see uh, what kind of shops might be open. Looking for some junk shops, antique malls, flea markets. Um, if this one place is open down here, I'm going to hit it again. They were running a 75% off sale on records. You might have seen in one of our other videos there. Uh, might go back and comb that again for a little bit. See if I uh, missed anything. I always do. I will always miss something. <laughs> Uh, and then there's another mall down here that I've never been to, so I'm going to uh, try to hit that, check it out. Uh, maybe something, something will be lurking. If you're new to the channel, uh, a lot of my customers and uh, some of our viewers have been asking, what do, what do we look for? Um, like, how do you know what you want to buy and, and what you don't want to buy? Um, first and foremost, I mean, I was a longtime collector uh, before I was ever a store owner. But we've had our shop for about seven years now. Uh, back to the media, we're in Winchester, Virginia. If you want to look that up, uh, find us on Facebook, all that. But um, so, you know, I, I was a collector first. So the first off, you know, if I see something that I want, you know, for my own collection or one for myself, um, I'll grab that. And then second is something that, you know, we know we could sell to a customer um, or that's wanted by, you know, some of our customers. Or that's just wanted in general. Um, you know, I'll, I look for LPs, I look for 45s, I look for 78s. Um, there's a lot of things to look for in all those different genres. It's hard to know everything, but uh, there's enough useful apps out there for your phone and stuff to. If you see something interesting, you can usually figure out if it's good to grab or not. And um, I found so many great things just through the years through private collections. Um, even just stumbling into an antique mall, you find, you know, a rare record of some sort. At just the other week, I found a psychedelic rock record, um, and it was hitting about 100 to 150 bucks, and the dealer had it priced for eight bucks. You know, you'll catch them slipping every now and then. Um, that actually, that was something I kept because I, I like the rare stuff in my own collection. I got a lot of the uh, more common things that I've wanted, like the Billy Joel's and the, you know, Eric Clapton records and. Um, you know stuff like that I got I got all that stuff already so I'm looking for rarer stuff for my own collection rare bands rare artists um, in the world of 45s I try to find stuff that you know an artist would put out maybe a single back in the day and then you know you just never heard from them ever again that's the kind of stuff I look for for my own collection um, and occasionally you know I'll sell that kind of stuff too if uh, if I'm not into it so and then when it comes to records or video games or comics you know we'll pick up stuff for the store um you know whatever's popular that we always need like michael jackson records i need a zillion of them because i sell a zillion of them so if there's one out here for a good deal we'll grab it um we try to do a no man left behind kind of thing <laughs> okay we made it back here they are open today so that was good some stuff i didn't really see last time Looks like eight tracks. Diana Ross. Nice. John Cale. Cheshire Cat, what a good album. I remember those days. Billy Idol single.
We're back in Amsterdam. Nice. Let's see how much this is. Mm. Yeah. yeah. John Paul McCartney there. Looks like somebody's kind of ravaged this beetles here. Somebody's in here rooting around. Not for that condition, on that price there. Not on that condition. This one's high beat too. Oh yeah, coming out the bottom. Oh god, there it goes. How much was it anyway? Probably too much. 35 in that condition? No, thank you. Okay, we're back here and 75% off. That's good. And I did just find some reggae albums here that I'll probably end up grabbing. I mean, this is marked $3. But 75% off, it's going to be like a buck. That's marked a dollar. I'll be like, what, a quarter? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, always because at my store, our reggae section is always empty. We just don't see much of it. Not much of it comes in. Steve Winwood. We'll see how much that is. And it's three bucks, so it's only gonna be like a dollar. I think we'll grab that. I'll have to check that out in a second. Don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, Chase. Is that Chase? I'm not familiar with this. It's got that psych rock to look to it. Don't know if it is or not. Let's check it out. I'll have to look that one up. I guess we're probably looking at this Rolling Stones album. Much like I was. It's marked 75. Or no, 70 clams. 70. Mmm. 75% off though. So I guess you're down to like 25-ish maybe. It's probably not a bad deal on that. Marty Robbins, 11 spoonful, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get this monkeys for a customer. Got a customer looking for this one. This is a cool one here. I got a nice clean copy of that. That's the Young Rascal. Look at T and the MGs. Costello's Costello is. Probably be like five or six bucks. Not a bad deal. Best of the rules. I liked this Carl Perkins here last time, but it's in such rough shape. and truck covers. <laughs> Amazing. Straight cats. How much is that? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a couple bucks. We'll take it. Smokey and the Bandit original soundtrack. It's pretty beat up, though. Super girls. Like a super hard rock group. Temptation. I think that one. I'm way twitty.
up in there. Fucking stuff right there. I found some 78s down here behind the showcase. I'd like to check these out. Johnny James. I don't know if there's any Hank Williams down here on the MGM label. There we go, yeah, that's a Hank Williams there. Your cheating heart for $2.50. 75% off, we'll take that. It's all in pretty good shape. That's pretty sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's Vernon Dalhart. That's a. I believe that's like. A little bit of old country. Probably not a bad deal on that. I mean, five, it's only gonna be a dollar or two. I mean, the jacket is worth that, guys. Look at that Conqueror jacket. That is awesome. Hey, look, Danny. It's that band Tarkus. <laughs> That's an inside joke, guys. Uh, one of our vinyl introductory videos, we, we got one of these in a collection. And, uh, we thought the band was called Tarkus, but uh, yeah, it's uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. We know, we know. I'd be grabbing some of these if they were in a little bit better shape. But they're kind of beat up. This one's, I'd grab that one too, but it's beat up. This one's coming apart. A little rough, a little rough. Some new rolls right there. It's in good shape there. Get it, Rogers. I got uh, one of these Louis Armstrongs here. I mean, it's going to be like a dollar. The jackets are nice. The vinyl's nice. It's the New Orleans Jazz Louis Armstrong. It's going to be a buck. This is almost a cool find, but the, the vinyl is just destroyed on it. I just took a look at it. Good wall hanger. These are weird here. Look at this. It's like medical records. An ageless disease that spares no age. Get all these medical records here. Classic asthma therapy. That's weird. Five bucks for all those, that's probably a good deal. This one's not too bad here. James Brown, his famous flames. It's 25, but it's 75% off. But it is a crownless label. It's like a VG. Probably. Probably a VG, a couple scuffs like that. One you can see right there. Eh, I might get it. It's only gonna be like six or seven dollars. I think I'm gonna get this one too. This is Chuck Berry's greatest hits. I had to run the numbers on this one. They made so many presses of this. And this one looks like a 64 first pressing on black label. It's uh oh. 50 bucks, but 75% off by coming in around 12 to 13 dollars. So it can't beat that. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in my collection on that one. It's pretty darn clean. It's very, very nice. Very nice. Let me know if you grab this for that price. Alright. Baseball cards down here on the floor. Children's section here. Somebody's out here for you. This music so loud up in here. It's bandy. It's pretty cool. Uh, Captain Kangaroo. All right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Don't mind me singing. Trying to sing over some of this music because YouTube don't doesn't like copyrighted music being played. Even in the background. That's pretty cool. Papa, that's in good shape. Sesame Street's pretty good shape too. We'll check out the vinyl. It's all mostly country right here. I think this is the same vendor. Yeah. 75% off though, Willie Nelson. Not bad. It's a dollar. Beautiful shape. I'll take it. 
Hey, look, another one. <laughs> this one's only three plus 75% off. Jerry Lee Lewis on the cellophane. Pretty sweet. Great shape. Great shape. <laughs> Good shape. 75 cents with the, with the discount. Right. I learned nothing about racing and I ruined my Crystal Bale shirt. Patsy Klein. Uh, her store's in Winchester, Virginia. Patsy Klein's from Winchester, Virginia. So we sell her records all the time. This one's 75 cents. So, sweet. I would love to find a Keith Whitley in here. That would just be, that would make my day. This Patsy Klein's in real good shape. And another one of those. Ooh, 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 ooh. I ain't looked at the price yet, but it's 75% off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. How much is it? 25 and 75% off. Says it's a 58 mono. That's a good price on that. Let's see how clean it is. Jacket's beautiful. Very nice jacket. Oh yeah, about a VG. So it would be about seven or eight dollars. That's definitely, definitely a keeper. It's on Sun Records. One of my uh, absolute favorite labels. Grab these. I tell you, this 80s country is getting harder and harder to get, and they're in beautiful shape. This one's gonna be dollar fifty, dollar fifty, dollar fifty. All VG pluses. Oh, there's another Johnny Cash down there. One dollar. Okay. All right. Some George Straits down in here. This is pretty great right here. Um, this is Johnny Paycheck in concert. I have never seen this before. Uh, it's on Little Darlin' label. Um, so it's super early. I mean, you guys have heard uh, Take This Job and Shove It. You know, he, he made that famous. Uh, but you never see him without a beard and the cowboy hat and everything. This is 1966, this is way early, Johnny Paycheck. Um, I'm gonna grab it, it's in cellophane, it's in beautiful, beautiful shape. 
Um, that'll probably go in my collection. I got a lot of his stuff, but I don't have this one. I've never even seen it before. All right, guys, that was pretty cool. Uh, just bought all them records there for I think it's like 123 something or other. Let me look here. 121.59. Pretty good there. 121.59. That's with the the sale, everything that was going on there. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. We'll take it. If you guys like the content, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, this video went longer than I thought it was gonna gonna go because uh, there was a lot of records to cover. Um, found some really cool stuff, you know, a lot of Hank Williams. Um, found that Johnny Cash son that was pretty awesome. Um, if you guys like the videos, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.